Hello and welcome to my second video of my NIM for Beginners tutorial series, Variables, Errors and Comments. Variables are a way of storing values in programming languages. There are two kinds, mutable, changeable and immutable, unchangeable, as in they can only be assigned given a value once. In NIM, you can create mutable, ch changeable variables with the var keyword, like this, var variable name is value. Variable name is the name of the variable. R is to declare it as a variable, and this is its value by the usage of the equal sign. Creating a variable this way by giving it a value is called initialization. There is also declaration by giving a variable its type without a value, but we will not go into that in this video. Okay, let's try to display this variable with echo. Echo, variable name, the Visual Studio Code gives you a suggestion to autocomplete. This is a nice feature of a modern code editor. Okay, let's F6 and see the result. Okay, here it is, value. Let's try this again with multiple parameters. Let's add a space, another comma for the third parameter, variable name. It should display value twice with a space. Okay, here it is, value, value. Okay, let's try to change the variable's value. You can do this. Variable name is some other string value. Okay, you can change a variable's value in this fashion. You don't need to use the var keyword to do this. And the reason I wrote string here is because this value is of type string. And once you give a variable some value, the compiler will determine what kind of data type it is. Once the compiler determines what data type it is, that data type cannot be changed, which means that this variable can now only hold string values. String values are values in double quotation marks. Okay, let's run this. Okay, <laughs> we need another echo. Okay, this should do it. Some other string value. Okay, if you were to give this variable some other data type, it would result in an error. Let's uh, try it out. Let's give it uh, an integer. An integer in programming languages are whole numbers. Okay, Visual Studio has already detected that this is a problem. Type mismatch got an integer that expected string. So if you were to compile this, it will put an error. This, this is the error. And here it says at which line this error is, which is line four. And 16 means the position, means 16 here. There are also some other data types in NIM, such as floats, which are decimal numbers, char, which are single letter data types, like this. Floats like this. And all of this, all of them will error because this variable is now string. More on data types in the next video. Okay, let me put some other string here back. Another string value. Okay, now let me tell you about the other kind of variables. NIM has two kinds of variables: the immutable and changeable kind, which are created almost exactly the same way as the changeable ones with the var keyword, the unchangeable immutable type are created with the let keyword. So let's make one immutable variable. And let's give it a string value of, I don't know, unchangeable value. Now let's echo this. unchangeable value. Now, if you were to change this, it would, it would result in an error, just like it did with the wrong data type up here. So let me show you this. Immutable variable is, this will be an error. 
and Visual Studio Code has already detected it once again. Immutable variable cannot be assigned to, which means that you cannot give it another value again. Once it's assigned, given a value, it cannot be changed anymore. Now, if you were to run this, it would once again give us an error at line 10, position 1, which is this first one, and onwards, it detects the problem here that it cannot be assigned to. Okay, now I will tell you about comments. This makes a comment. By this hashtag symbol makes the entire line be ignored by the compiler, which then becomes a com comment. This is useful if part, a part of your code would be problematic, would cause an error. So you would comment it out like this, or another line. Problem number two. Another usage of comments is to put them before lines of code like this one to tell us that the code below will, I don't know, maybe make an error. Like, let's let's write it. This code will make an error because it is immutable. Created with let keyword. We could also put a comment up here to tell ourselves that this is a mutable variable using var keyword and this one to tell ourselves that this is immutable immutable variable using the left keyword. Okay that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you had any problems with any part of the video let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the description inside the link which will open up the code in NIMS Playground which is a website that allows you to run NIM code on that website which allows you to write and run code from your smartphone where you, while you're on the go as well as easily share code with others all the useful cool stuff a modern code editor has and um, have fun I'll see you next time